friends, we meet again on Maths and Entertainment with Atharva. So today's topic is indices and laws of indices. So let's go straight to indices is a standard form of writing a number. In this video, I am going to tell you two things, laws of indices and standard form of writing a number. Now first, let's start with laws of indices. Laws of indices are like you learned in the last video like a raised to the power of m into a raised to the power of n equal to a raised to the power of n plus n. This is a law. This is a law and one more law. a raised to the power of m upon a raised to the power of n is equal to a raised to the power of m minus n. These are also laws and there is there are also laws. So let's see all of these the are the laws of indices. They are s total seven. These are also the laws that a raised to the power of m into a raised to the power of n equal to a raised to the power of a m plus n. That's also the laws, but you have learned them in the last video. So let's do the seven. First, I will explain you the laws. The first law. A raised to the power of 1 equal to m. As I tell you, when uh, a number is raised to the power of 1, the it is a number itself. Now the second. A raised to the power of 0. It is always 1. Now A raised to the power of negative m. If you remember, I, have, uh, I had told you that you should never have, never means never have, a negative in the index or the exponent so to cure this you should take the you should do it in the fractional form fractional so it equals to a the upon a raised to the power of m these these are important these all laws are important for solving sums now the next a d in brackets raised to the power of m equal to a raised to the power of m equal into b raised to the power of m. You just have to remember these all. No, no need to learn them. Only remember these. Now the next a a upon b in brackets raised to the power of m equal to a raised to the power of m upon b raised to the power of m. Now the sixth one. A and raised to the power of m in the bracket and n outside the bracket means a a raised to the power of m and it is also equal as a raised to the power of m and uh, m in, into n. Now the seventh, the last. If a a upon uh, a upon b in brackets is raised to negative m, then you can also do the reciprocal and get the uh, um, index equal now let's do some on these so the first one the first one first term I will do only one sum only if there is 2 raised to the power of uh, equal to now the second. Means if we took hundred thousand and one which to the power of zero, it is equal to one only. One.
these are the examples these are the examples of that the formulas you may read them you read them learn them try to make your own sums again i will give you this much only now let's move to scientific notations cos standard form If a number is three eight four zero 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 zero, then how to write them in the column? Now take them in the integer form. Three eight four the numbers into one two three four five six seven eight ten raised to eight like that, and now. Go increase the zeros by putting them in the decimal form. Thirty-eight point four into ten nine. Three point eight point four. We will take another now example. Now in this we will write nine five six and zero 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 zero. Now nine five six into ten upon One two three four five six seven eight nine ten ten to ten. So luckily ten zeros. Now nine five point six into ten upon eleven. Ten raised to the power of eleven. Nine point five six into ten to the power. These are the standard form of writing numbers. these are like that so for this video well, this much only in the next video we shall meet again with more with more um, uh, with more stunning mash and with entertainment like always so goodbye guys we will meet in our next video please like share and subscribe our video and goodbye till